Hollow Comrade. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. This is Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. In the last episode, we fully optimized our steel... Ignore that. Just ignore that. We fully optimized our steel plant. Uh, we sent off our first train to the customs house at the border. And uh, we made, like, 113,000 rubles. I mean, look at this. Look at how much money we actually have right now. It's, it's pretty darn filthy. In today's episode, however, we're going to try our very, very best to set up a little... Uh, a little student village, university grad, if you would like. In fact, you know what? We should probably just uh, name. We should probably just name that straight away. I mean, how do I, how do I, how do I do a name? I think I do. Yeah, city name area here. No. Oh no, no, no. That's that's bad. Okay, cancel that, and rename this. So this is going to be. University grad. What about university grad? That sounds a little bit more rustic. I like that. Okay, um, university grad. This is what we're gonna do. Uh, the first thing that we're probably gonna want to do is set up a station. I suspect, honestly, just a small little platform will be totally fine for what we actually need it for. Okay small little platform. We're going to do this all in uh, in pause mode. Okay, doesn't look like we're going to have any difficulties with, uh, with setting this up. Okay, looking good. So we'll connect that up there. And we'll have a track running completely parallel over here. And then we'll have a little bit of a crossover point. Because now that we're using smaller trains, we're actually completely fine uh, for... We're completely fine having the crossover points so near to the station. Okay. And then we'll just continue this down here. Beautiful. And that will connect up right about there. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty much it, to be honest. And, I mean, I say that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it in terms of uh, transportation. We should probably set it up so that... That goes one way. That goes one way back. Same over here. One way. One way back. Uh, we'll set it up with a chain signal. Can't place them right there, because why not? Because uh, why would we be able to? And then we'll have that there and that there. And one more for good measure. Okay. What do you know? That's our that's our Universal Grad trade station. That's that's it. Uh, now, if we have a little look in the construction menu, and I think it's in education related. Headquarters of the Communist Party, Technical University, Medical University. University Halls of Residence, University Halls of Residence. I mean, I want to get both of these things. In fact, probably all of them. Maximum number of workers. Maximum number of workers. University Halls of Residence. Yeah, to be honest, I think we want a medical university. You know what, let's get a technical university first. I think we're fine for doctors at the moment. Is there any way that I can flatten this without... You need a free excavator at the construction depot. You know what? It might legitimately be a good idea to sort of plan out the town a little bit before we start doing some nonsense. Okay. Cancel that. Okay, this is clearly not going to work. So, let's get a little gravel road... Out to the side here. Autocomplete with rubles. There we go. Autocomplete with rubles. And then let's get a construction office right here. Uh, that would be construction. Construction related industry. Rail construction office. Construction office. Yep. Oh, goodness gracious me. Problem is that we're too far away, I think. 
There we go. Construction office right there. Mechanisms on the construction site. Uh, we can get ourselves... We can get ourselves to... Bulldozers. Not excavators. Bulldozers, one, two. Two excavators. Buildings without power supply. I don't think that that's going to make much of a difference. Yep, looks perfect to me. Looking very, very good. Okay, so that should at least bring our costs down somewhat for uh, some of the operations that we're going to be that we're going to be operating over here. Uh, so, infrastructure-wise, let's get ourselves some some road. Um, I think we probably want a road. You need a free excavator in the depot or the construction office. I have a free excavator in the depot or the construction office. Why is this not working? Yeah. Also, I'm not super in love with that road. Let's do that there. Sure, purchase the rubles. Great. Okay, so, I honestly, I think that that's all the infrastructure at the moment that we really need. Uh, we're going to want to get a bus station at some point, but I'm not super worried about that now. Technical University is a lot cheaper, and a medical university is... I don't want to say unnecessary at the moment, but I don't feel like it's super necessary at present. Now, I would dearly love... try and get this right about here. Sort of the first building. There we go. Look at that. The bulldozers are doing what they're supposed to do. That's great. Let's get this flattened off as well. If we could get the whole thing flattened off, that would be great. It's all free. It's all free. That's the best thing. Now, Technical University, that is going to go right in there. That is absolutely spectacular. Okay. Auto build from Rubles. Let's just get it done. There we go. Bring up the height of the ground a little bit. I will buy in some workers for that. And then let's get it placed down. There we go. That's a big that's a big step for us. That's a really, really big step for us. Okay, so now we're gonna want to try and get a footpath. Connect that up there. Connect that up there. Wonderful. So that's gonna take quite a while to build, but I'm not that worried about it. Um I don't actually know how universities work. I suspect that we just need to deliver students to them and they will automatically train people up. So that's the plan. Right. Let's put it into two times speed. So first of all, I don't have to endure watching this being built at the speed of a snail, but also so I don't have to endure the evening because the evening is uh, a little bit, a little bit annoying, really. Okay. Good. We're almost done. We're almost done, and then we'll be able to see exactly what happens. Okay, so, uh, research will allow you to build a factory where you'll be able to produce mechanical components or chemistry. That's what we can research. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so, staff and professors. Students in the auditorium? I mean, I thought it was just students that we needed to deliver here. Uh, to deliver here. We also need to get a power supply over here. That's going to be a little bit of a pain to do. Or will it? We've got a power supply coming from over here. Let's do let's do power supply now. Let's do power supply now. You know what? This might actually just be fine. Okay, get that in place there. And what about What about there? Can't build you to infrastructure, really? 
Perfect. Looking good to me. Okay, and just like that, we need to get professors and staff. Uh, I, I don't even know what the process is to get professors and staff over here. Uh, also, slight issue. Disconnected this track. We now no longer have access to the train depot. That's a hot little bit of nuisance. Right, let's reconnect that. I feel like I am forever just deleting and then rebuilding little bits of track. Okay, it's slightly slower track as well, but it doesn't particularly matter. Okay, so let's purchase a brand new train. Let's get two of them. Let's link them up together. See if it works. And let's get the people to be transported from there right across to here. Perfect. Get out and in. Now, I'm looking for students and workers. Students and workers. Students and workers. Students and workers. All right. First stop is unreachable. Go to that one and start. First stop is unreachable from current position. That should not be the case. Definitely should not be the case. There we go. How about that? First stop is unreachable. Right, go to the Potato Grad train platform. Mm. This this is not, not cool. Get rid of that. You can go there. All right, great. We need to set it up so it works. So it goes to this platform first, and then it'll go to this platform first, and we'll just make sure that we take students and workers. Okay, so that shouldn't be too difficult to do. It should all work relatively smoothly, I believe. How are we doing food-wise? Looks like we're doing completely fine food-wise. Looks like our harvesters are doing good stuff as well, which is lovely. Uh, you're growing. You're growing as well. Oh, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. And you're sowing at the moment. I don't think that we're... I don't think we're making that much food, put it that way. But it could be worse. It could be way worse. And it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like these these processes really need much assistance. They just sort of get dealt with. Look, there's workers in the field and workers are collecting the resources. So workers do actually make a difference. It's just how much of a difference, I, I don't know. Nine tons of food, great. Okay, perfect, whatever. I'm not gonna worry about that anymore. Uh, where's the train? There should be a train arriving over here at some point. At Universigrad. Ah, here we go. Here it is. Uh-oh. I just realized we should probably have a signal round about there and round about here so that we can actually have some trains pass through this area. Oh, no, you didn't like that. Sorry about that. Okay, my bad. Honestly, sorry. Try again. There we go. Okay. So with that, I think we've ended up with a system that ends up working. Uh, I suspect that we'll probably need to start another train as well. Yeah, you know what? Let's just buy another train straight away. They're so cheap. They're so cheap. Literally cost us almost nothing. Copy that schedule. Copy that on there. And start. Perfect. Yep, totally happy with that. Okay, the real proof is going to be in the pudding when this 
train arrives back at the platform over here. We'll see what happens. I also want to set this platform up so that we can use uh, chain signals appropriately. Because at the moment we're obviously just using one track. And that's not exactly ideal. But we'll deal with that in just a little second. Okay, so... You are going to take 22 students and 160 workers. Is that going to be enough? I suspect it might be. Okay, and in the meantime, whilst we're waiting for that train to arrive, I'm going to just quickly take this opportunity to redo this track over here. Right, let's do that there. Angle of crossing not allowed. Excuse me. There we go. There we go. Just like so. And delete. Uh, yeah, delete that track. Delete that track, and then this track will connect up to up to here, if at all possible. Doesn't exactly look like that's going to be a possibility. Uh, we should maybe think about doing... I don't really want these tracks to cross over, but if needs must. Okay, fine. So this track will be the exit track. And then this track will be the input track. There we go. Okay. Uh, what on earth? Oh. There we go. Okay, so. My logic is as follows. Uh, the input track is here. So we stick down a chain signal. Uh, whoops. We stick down a chain signal right about there, in that direction. We stick an output signal. Oh, come on. Why are you so darn inconsistent with where I can place my signals? Place a signal there, place a signal there. I can't place signals anywhere along this route. I mean, that's pretty much nonsense. Anywhere along there would be totally fine. Right, delete that and let's try again. Right, try that. Signal's in the way. I'm gonna show you what's in the way in a second. This is just getting ridiculous. Right. And you need to come down and link up there. Oh, goodness gracious me. Right. Signal needs to go in that direction. Perfect. Signal needs to go there in that direction. Signal needs to go there in that direction. Good. Can't place a signal there. Of course not. But that should be fine, I think, right? I don't think we should have any issues with that. Hold up, I need to go across and check on my potato grad train. It's just about to come into dock. Come into dock, come into the station, you get the picture. 164 workers, I think that they should all go out over here. I don't have any professors, I don't think. Oh no, tell a lie. You are, you have university education, you have university education. You guys don't have any, you just have basic education. Right, well let's see where they all go. Okay, so, staff, that's looking good. A whole bunch of staff, looks like these guys just need to have a basic level of education. These guys all have a university education, and these students all have a basic education, however, it looks like they're going to get upgraded to the next level of education, which is quite important. Now, I want to do chemical factory, sure. Increase the number of researchers.
Ah, okay, so I can split the number of students waiting for professors. I can split the number of students. I can split the number of students into students who need to be taught and then students who are being taught by workers. Okay, so one professor will work on research, so we will slowly progress towards a chemical factory. That's fine. Uh, oh, this is our second train. I almost forgot. I almost forgot that we bought a second train. I thought this train had come back for some obscure reason. Alright, well, that's fine. That's looking good. And that's going to at least be some sort of creative outlet for these students. Uh, let's stick it in double speed. Oh, goodness gracious me. Right, this is a nasty situation created entirely because of this one stupid outdated train that we have on this network. Uh, it can be fixed, I believe, if I'm allowed to place a signal here. If I'm not allowed to place a signal right over here, then that might be a problem. Ah, uh, yep. Okay. There we go. Can I place a signal behind this train? I can as well. Oh, beautiful. Great. Oh, and it just, it phased right through the other train anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. Okay, so it turns out that sometimes it doesn't matter, and then other times it's just irrelevant. Alright, whatever. Okay, this train, by the way, I can now set to only pick up workers. Don't pick up workers. Don't pick up workers with a higher level of education, because the university train is going to carry them to the university. Oh, no. This train is not... Uh, this train is not long enough. This train is absolutely... It's far too long. Yep. Sell it. That's a price that I think we need to pay. This train carries people to the oil platform. Let's get two more of those trains just to sort of make up for the fact that we did we did sell a pretty darn big one. Okay. One, two. There we go. Alright, so out with the old, in with the new. Or in our case, out with the new and going back to the old. Because I believe these uh these model trains are are older actually. They're older than the big the big new ones that we got. What's going on over here? Why is this not working? Why is this not working? Oh, this is funky. Is it because of this train over here? Not quite sure why this happened, but it's fine. All right, we'll do that. See if that makes any difference. The steel is uh, the steel train is the issue. We're looking good though. We're looking good on on the other fronts, i.e., coal storage and everything like that. We're we're looking good. We're transporting a, a good amount of coal, which is what I'm pretty happy about. We're transporting a good amount of oil. Hold up. Why are we not transporting a good amount of oil? How much oil's on that train? All right, that's a full train of oil. I suspect we might just have had a little power cut for a little while. Not quite sure why that would have happened. But this is working. This whole thing is working. This is good. And all this time, hold on, why are you not working? I guess there's only one train allowed to be in the tunnel at once. Oh, it's because of the bridges. What I'll do is I'll put another signal right in there. And another signal right in there. Perfect. 
Is that right? Yep. That's the exact place that we want it to be. Okay, that's looking pretty darn good. Um, you are going to take a bunch of students, a bunch of workers, all the way over to Potato Grad. You're taking two workers back. There's a whole bunch of students over here. Oh man, that's great. That's working really, really well. Uh, and you know what? This is only half of it. We're getting loads and loads of workers. We're getting loads and loads of students. Uh, can I build some... I mean, first of all, I want to build another... Another university. That's absolutely what I want to do. Uh, a medical university? Yep. Sign me up. If I could build that, like... Right about here, would that be fine? Can't build you to infrastructure. Looking for flat terrain. You know what? Sure. Let's do this. I want to move it across just a little bit. Yep, yeah, flatten it. Because I'm hopeful that we're going to be able to use a little bit of a little bit of area off to the side here, off to this side over here for university halls. Okay. Let's get this corrected. I know I built a construction depot specifically for this reason. Okay, get that adjusted ever so slightly. All right, get it placed down. Beautiful. Okay, not entirely sure why we need a road to be built over here, but that's not going to happen. Uh, we do need to get a fire station up and running over here, uh, but again, I feel like that's maybe a little bit of a longer term plan. Let's get a road built over there, and then let's build some university halls of residence, because I have no idea what they do, and I'm curious to see what they actually do. Hostels, university halls of residence. Looks like there's two styles. Is that, is that it? I mean, I feel like the long, skinny one is absolutely better for our, our needs. Yep, there we go. We'll build a couple of these bad boys. Okay, two. And third one right over here. There we go. Alright. So let's see this all miraculously come together. It's going to cost us a pretty penny or two. But I think it'll be worth it. We've got a lot of students coming in, which is lovely. It's going to cost us a lot of money to build up this, uh, this medical university. But again, it'll be worth it. This whole thing will be worth it. Right, so students. No students in this hostel. All students. Students with completed studies. Students waiting for, for professors. 101. Right, well that's just simply not good enough. That connected up. No issues there. That's perfect. I was worried that there was going to be some uh, some issues, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Okay. Connect it up there. Just to make sure that there is access absolutely everywhere. Uh, there's already access over here, but you know what? Just to be on the safe side, connect that up there. building is in the way, is it? Alright, whatever. We'll see what happens. Are the students going to stay where they need to stay? Over here? Or are they not going to stay over there? I think that students might be able to just walk to the university halls of residence. Certainly they definitely should be able to from that building. Why don't I just check what the building... Yeah, so it looks like we should have no issues 
No issues walking around here. Like, this is one of the first areas that I've designed properly with, like, walking and with the buildings that I actually want to build in mind. Which is, I think, a positive thing, without a shadow of a doubt. But there is a little too many workers over here. We don't actually need that many workers. What's going on over here? Why are there signals right here? How how did I manage to place signals there? How 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 did I do that? That shouldn't have actually been possible. How will you video game? How will you let me place signals in the middle here? All right, I I I don't even want to pretend to understand. Okay, you need to only pick up workers with a high education and all students right I don't know how many workers that's gonna be probably not very many actually yeah and then you can pick up workers yeah three workers on that train and one student Only one person has university education on this. Alright. I mean, it is it is what it is, right? It's fine. Can I reserve a certain house for, like, lecturers and stuff? Still living with parents, productive age workers? No. Hold up. Relocate up to five citizens. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Relocate up to ten citizens with university education to a residential building you select. Ah, that's what I actually want to do. I actually want to have a lecturer, you know, like a lecturer building out here. I think we're going to need to try and set up a... Students with completed studies, all students. I can't relocate students here, can I? Doesn't seem to be that way. We're getting through chemistry very, very slowly. And occasionally students are being taught exactly how to do stuff. Okay, so we're going to get lecturers. We're going to get lecturers over here. Uh, we're going to get a little sort of home away from homes for the lecturers, so to speak. Okay, let's try and... No, I do have a free excavator. There's two free excavators right over there. Why are they on hand to level the terrain but not raise it up? I probably need more than a bulldozer to raise it up. Uh, maybe I should buy an excavator. That's what I need to do. Right. Auto build. Right. Looking good. Looking very, very good. Okay, we've got a, uni uh, a medical university. Uh, I'm presuming that this will literally just train doctors for us. A bunch of professors. This is a cool system, actually. I like this. Okay. This is the first sort of big batch of people that are going to be trained up in medical stuff. We've got as many workers as we possibly can. And we're getting a good few professors. Now, presumably, as our students get taught how to how to work, they're going to their education level is going to be raised. Yeah, school time forty minutes. So will that go up over time? I suspect very much that it will. Total traveling time is two hours and fifteen minutes. That's hilarious. What the heck is that? Is that how how Soviet they are? How committed to the glorious Soviet Republic? That education level just went up, by the way. So I suppose as soon as they get over a two, level two at education, uh, then they become then they become a professor, which is great because it means that as long as the students continue to learn, then they're gonna continue to be happy or continue to be happy. You know what I mean? I just don't understand why this is not working. 
I don't understand uh, how the halls of residence are supposed to work. Also, the other thing that I was thinking about building, it's in education related, the headquarters of the Communist Party. Now, this is a very mightily expensive building. And I do want to build it, because it's going to be fantastic and glorious. However, there's not really a location for it. Apart from over here. Yeah, we might... We might roll with that. We might roll with that in a little bit. Uh, but I don't know... I don't know if... I don't know what, what you benefit from having a headquarter... From having a headquarter building. I don't know if it does bring any benefits. How are our trains doing? How's our steel mill doing? 92,000 tons of steel? Not 92,000, sorry, just 92. Sorry, 191 tons of steel. We don't have enough coal. We're storing coal over here. We are getting coal, it's just we're not getting coal fast enough. Yeah, why are we not... Why are we not getting coal fast enough? To be honest, I think it's because we're actually making so much steel. Like, we're making steel pretty instantaneously. We've got a lot of workers up here. You know what, honestly, I think that the improvements that we made to the train network, I think it really is just paying dividends right now because we're just getting so many more workers to where they need to be. Food production is also not completely garbage at the moment, which is wonderful. Yeah, that's that's really really good. That is really really good. No crops ready to transport. Four tons of crops ready to transport. Honestly, we could probably get rid of one of the trucks. Yeah, so there's a there is a cup there are a couple of fields that are on growing a hundred percent. Now I'm thinking that if we get rid of one of the trucks and replace it with a harvester. That's you're full of crops. You're full of crops, true, too. Yeah, maybe we get rid of one of the trucks and replace it with a harvester because there's no, there's no real need for the crops to be transported instantaneously, i.e. you can accumulate harvested crops in a field for seemingly as long as necessary in order to get it, in order to give the crops time to be picked up. Whereas at the moment, a lot of the trucks are just sitting in the corner of fields waiting until they have enough crops to go. Ah, you know what? Let's leave it with three for now. I think three is it's probably fine. We do still need more food, though. I am aware of that. We're not exactly short, but... We're kind of short. But apart from that, everything seems to be going remarkably well. Honestly, everything's going well. Six professors, students waiting for professors, there's no staff, workers with basic education. Yeah, that should be fixed momentarily. To be honest, I do want to actually do some work on research. It's important that we make a little bit of progress, even at the expense of not teaching as many people as we possibly can. Yeah. Uh, anyway, what I said that I wanted to do is I did want to get myself... I did want to get myself some residential buildings. 120... Oh, no. 150 workers can stay in this flat. Need flat terrain. Can't build due to infrastructure. Does this still count as the hospital estate? Oh, that's annoying. Same with this area as well, I would guess. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. It's disappointing, but I will... Place... Maybe see if I can fit you in over here. Can't build you to infrastructure. Yeah, I know. Let's get this flattened out. Let's flatten this out and we'll see if we can make ourselves... We'll see if we can make ourselves an area where we can... Get some professors moving into this, into this building. Okay, 120 workers, 150 workers. Yep. Can't build you to infrastructure. 
Come on. Ever so close. No, I don't want to get citizens. I want to actually build an empty block. Right? Okay, this is 150 workers. This is going to be 150 workers of the finest variety. That would have been a... In hindsight, that would maybe have been a better building for us, but it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, we're still probably going to need a grocery store and whatnot. Why can I not get workers? No, 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 no. Relocate 10 citizens to a residential building. No, I want to do this one. Ah. They, these guys don't have any education. The building is without a power supply at the moment, which is which is not super ideal. Uh, why can I not do this? Relocate up to 10 citizens to a residential building you select. I want to relocate people with a university education. There we go. Looks good. Relocate as many people as possible. Right. Okay, so that's good. We got 13 educated people. Okay, that actually that actually worked remarkably well. Uh, we just need to try and concentrate the university educated people in this flat here. Okay. Prefab flat 31. We can just go through randomly and pick out a couple of a couple of flats where we've got a couple of university educated people. Five in here. Perfect. And if we make them move out here, I know that the building is currently without power, etc, etc, etc. But it's fine. Uh, nine people. Yep. There we go. I know I need to make them happy, and I'm not currently making them very happy. But this will be worth it once we have as many professors over here as possible. Uh, obviously, the buildings where citizens should go are going to be those two. 50-50 would be perfect. And that way we should just have a much, much higher concentration of professors. Uh, the problem is, is that we don't have any resources set up at this moment in time to supply uh, power or grocery or anything like that. Uh, but we're going to deal with that. We're going to deal with that, but we're going to deal with that in the next episode. Because that is it for now, ladies and gents. Thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, is Over the Potato. This has been Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. I'll see you next time. Bye.